Well, first what we're going to do is to fix a problem uh, that's a common problem, although in this case a, a rather uncommon one, where our speaker had had a stroke and his voice had slowed down dramatically during the course of our project. Uh, and we had already allocated the spots for, say, this clip here inside of Final Cut Pro, which now extends over <laughs> into another scene here. So, notice the time here is 25.48. So, what we needed to do then is to use the time stretch option in Soundtrack Pro to reduce his voice down to 20.67, just so you get an idea of what it sounds like. Nepal is a beautiful and enchanting country. That versus this. Nepal is a beautiful and enchanting country. And we still maintain his voice fidelity and character. What we're going to have to do first is get the audio clip from Final Cut Pro. This is our long audio clip with our speaker speaking very slowly and extending into the next scene, unfortunately. What we need to do is then shave, oh, it looks like to be about four seconds or so off of uh, this audio clip and make it uh, 20 second, 2019 uh, seconds in length. Round tripping is explained in another one of my tutorials out here on the cow, but let's show you how to do it right now. Uh, we do a send to. Well, let's send it to a multi track project so that we can see the audio clip plus the video clip together. That's useful. And we'll just accept all of these parameters. Maybe give it a unique name, since I've done this before. Practicing. And now we have our long audio clip inside of Soundtrack Pro. And what we need to do is to get the clip audio to end somewhere in here. Right? And we mentioned that that was 2019 easy to do. We go into process, time stretch, and what we have to do is we have to look at drop frames to get our time code right, and bring this down to 2019, or 2029, good enough. And now we can scrub it to see if that's good enough. To do this, Nepal is a beautiful and to do business in. And you can see now that we have our speaker's voice fading out before our new scene comes in. And all we have to do now is to save this. Flip back to Final Cut Pro. Squidgy it up a bit. Check it. On the planet to do business in. And then we're ready to add our next audio clip. Well, that's time stretching, and we can listen to it. Nepal is a beautiful and enchanting country. Ideally located between two of the largest growing economies in the world, India and China. Abundant natural resources and diverse in culture, Nepal is one of the most pleasant places on the planet to do business in. So the audio here isn't so hot, but you get the idea that his voice didn't change all that dramatically, even though we took off four seconds or so from his speaking time. We're going to fix up uh, audio clips uh, where the vocals aren't matching. Uh, so I say, for example, the speaker was uh, not close enough to the microphone, as in this case. This is my voice, and I'm too far away from the microphone. 
This is my voice, and I'm too far away from the microphone. Versus perhaps the speaker being closer. This is my voice, and I'm closer to the microphone. This is my voice, and I'm closer to the microphone. We want to match track two with track one, and what we're going to be using then in Soundtrack Pro is what's called the lift and stamp tool. Or you can optionally use UU on the keyboard, and that'll do the same thing for you. And you will get the sound palette where you can uh, lift the voice level or lift equalization print and lift process effects. You can do whatever you want, but we're just going to do the voice level for now. So we're, we'll lift that, and when that's checked and you run your cursor over a track, you'll see a little up arrow. That means lift. So we'll click that and the arrow change to down, which means that we're going to stamp, we're ready to stamp, uh, another clip. So let's just come over here and we'll stamp that. Okay. Mute that. This is my voice and I'm too far away from the microphone. This is my voice and I'm too far away from the microphone. But I'm not anymore. Isn't that amazing? So that's using the lift and stamp and level matching.